but imong work karon like what are you doing mostly free diving or so work from home or you do zoom meetings or what i i do a little consultancy every now and then uh, for people na who are consulting regarding many things <laughs> out, all kinds of consultants yeah, there's digital marketing there's kind of people asking help for their birds there are people asking help about um, farming and what they think they should plant or eat or <laughs> so all around consultant deka sa farming sa covid sa, Ay, sa free especially diving especially karon sa covid kay daghan kay magsikpong tawo sa digital yun. marketing so yeah. you know when pila you... imong fee kung magpa-consult ko <laughs> Well, kung Peng Iyo man, dan si Peng Iyo, it kaki uh, ka lang, so I wouldn't charge na, you anything. No? Inamigo na price, ang oh, free ra. Kung, yeah. kung, uh, I don't do price. it so I can earn money. I do it so I can help people man sa. Oh yeah, but na, we have to be practical said. So, well, if it becomes a commercial thing. If it's like thing, a profession. Oh, uh, kung commercial na yun, then I, I will start charging. Yeah. Hmm, charging. <laughs> Okay, but it, it's good. Like from knowing you, high school, yeah, karon, yeah, I've seen na uh, said ang imong growth, ba. But you're still you. Like uh, I look at you now, it's still magikaw gapon, ba. Like you haven't changed, but you also changed in a way. Like it's still you, but it's a better version of you, or it's a more mature version. Oh, thank you. But I, I do also like the. The new, well, not new, 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 but the matured version of you. Because <laughs> back in high school, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of people took you for the prankster, the jokester, the the class. Yeah, I Pero, think you were a victim of that. Yeah. In some cases, more given on, and but in oh, some but cases. <laughs> back in high school, I'll tell you something. I always yeah. saw that you had an introspective side in you that you did not show. Uh, wala pa to na ako na tap or wala pa to na ako na unleash but okay. I, I was always somewhat of a a loner or, or an introvert or like i was like on the side and but you always had a reflective side na i felt mo come out lang un usahay na nakalak ko that you're not all the joker or the prankster that you're showing in front of everyone yeah i think the joker side was more ko ano sa na the a mask that you were wearing like a mechanism like yeah. a defense mechanism to keep people at bay or yeah. just uh something you project but in reality you're of course internally you're someone else okay when you're doing you know what you remember kaka nate mga assignments that you have to speak in front of class share something yeah. or what i remember you would share some insightful things na makala ko na where did that come from? Uh, so I've always thought of you as somebody na always introspective and reflective. Yeah, pero lately rin na ako na mas nigi unleash ba? I think I, lately ni mo It takes a while unleash. to like discover. Yeah. Like lately rin man sako I'm like doing some writing now. Before I didn't like yeah, write. you're posting publications. Yeah, like before what man juku is what so what or wala mm-hmm. rajud like I was somewhat a float lang ba before we, I didn't really like what na na ko gi okay or gi like fully maximize. So I think it's important that all of us we know ourselves and we discover on sa pa atong inner like talents or inner abilities mm-hmm. na wala na to. Because sometimes we don't really know ourselves. True. Or sometimes there are skills that we can hone, mm-hmm. we can develop that marag that can add value to the world in and, and sometimes we just need to be in the right time right place and opportunity to really discover ourselves yeah okay if i look back in high school yeah murara kog shell ba ato like yeah i was somewhat inclined to certain things but i was somewhat still cowardly or Uncertain. still still like lutaw or still floating or still murag wala pa guidance ba or wala yeah. pa it's not clear yet ba yeah. but i think it's it's really a process so it took uh, a while said but na na mga ginagmay diba signs of what your knack could be or what you're inclined to doing but it takes a while especially with pressures diba from family as we talked about earlier so sometimes it's like there are expectations externally from you and it it's not necessarily your like line or your forte, so sahin. You have to wrestle with that. You have yeah. to battle with that. True. And that's hard. <laughs> it is. Kanang discovering you, you yourself. You sound like you speak it. You speak of it from your own experiences. Yeah. Because <laughs> to discover yourself, I think you have to. Really, you might offend some people. You might. True. 
you might uh, give off the wrong impression, but you have to you find that. But that, but that's personal. Yeah. And sometimes we're enslaved as to what people may say or how people perceive us. And that can be a growth stunter. Like, di hara ka kutub kay hadlok ka mo come out of that shell or you're stuck in one dimension that you cannot be well-rounded you cannot be multi-dimensional because you live too much in the expectations of others yeah and so i i wrestled with that because honestly i really i was like a reputation they said reputation freak or but somewhat i was enslaved by how i'm perceived like i still I cared about i think it's cultural yeah i still i i somewhat cared about how people, people think, think of you. Mga yeah. ihana. I did too. I really did. Even, yeah, yeah. even if I was a weirdo, pero I <laughs> weirdo. tried. I, I keep I tr- saying that. I mean, because I am. No, pero I tried so hard to be the image of a son that my parents would want to show to other parents. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, listen. But I think it's very important that we, each of us, discover our truest selves. And that's also why Murag, I decided to do this because I want to hear perspectives of different individuals, their journey, what they went through, etc. Ilang challenges, how they overcame challenges. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's been interesting so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I laud you for what you're doing right now because even if let's say we're not aiming for a large audience but these are things now we can one day look back yeah definitely and, like hopefully 10 years down the road then you come across this video then we can like oh <laughs> yeah, this is, love, these were the relevant um news back then and no, oh I, i'd love to see what kind of person i was yeah, when i look back and you know, 10 years down the line look back now who was i what was i thinking yeah it's always interesting and that's and that's really quite interesting <laughs> So yeah, Muragli said, but it's really worthwhile said. Like there's a sense of gratification once you Murag, level up mm-hmm. and once you come out of, of a certain shell and yeah, magkasigi kag level up, sigi kag tubo, new perspectives arise. Then it's it's there's a freedom in that in a way. Like magka free ka ba hinay hinay. And it's a humbling realization. Uh, the more you know, the more you know that you don't know. Yeah. Plus, also realizing the limitation of time. Like, yes. Like, di ra, di man per me na ing anira. Like, the times change. And People pass on, and things, mm-hmm. the economy, economic trends vary from time to time. And that made me realize that there's only one true currency in this world, and that is time. Time, Rabita. Okay, because mm-hmm. money, like, na manay saying, na money you can earn again if yeah. you lose money, but time. It's really one spent di, cannot be taken back. Like your childhood, di na na mabalik. True. Like imong college years, di na. And everything that we're trying to spend on is to make things faster for us in time. So we buy faster cars so that we get to a destination yeah. faster. We we buy investments so that we can get more money faster. Yeah. Pas pas na fast pace na bitaw kay yeah. world. That sometimes we We need to slow down. We're so caught up. And I guess in a way, COVID slowed things down slowed and, and down, made yeah. a, it was somewhat of a wake-up call. That's true. That's very, very true. Mara ka nang posa, posa ang yeah. kalibutan. And everyone <laughs> take a step back and look. Yeah. yeah. And so it's been yeah surreal. This whole surreal. Yeah, it, it feels surreal. like a movie. It's like That's kind of it's good. like we're in, in a dystopian movie. I can't believe movie. we're living it, no? Yeah, Murag, these are things. Naman to yung mga salida about pandemics, di ba? Na hitabo na just reading in history, and then you know it's happened in history, and now you're living yeah, it. Yeah, katong 1918, di ba? Hundred oh. years ago, the Spanish flu, etc. But you know, people who passed through the war, they said, "Now what we're going through right now is not as bad as the war." So maybe we have that to be thankful for. I think there are pros and cons from past time and karun. Mm. Like because of technology, we get so many you know, like um, like sayon na karun ang access, internet, etc. But yeah. nasa downside kay pas pas ra sa king. True. Thing. So there's downside like fake news spreads really fast. Yeah. Food, so it's a balance, you know. There's, really, there's just no absolute good all the time. But I think it's important we go back to that objective foundation that didjuta molikoy too far, ba? Yeah. Like even with so much technology, hopefully na padiha ang hold on to the truth. Ang firm value system or firm 
truth foundation. Because yeah. if we deviate from that, who knows how how bad we will go as a society if we just go along with the, the latest trends and mm. it's not necessarily good for humanity. Na, but then we're caught up with it. So there are many dangers to that. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a, an interesting uh, <laughs> life and journey and experiences. I agree. So anything else you might like I think we covered add? more topics than I've ever covered with other friends in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> long time. Yeah. But you know. it's good. I, I'm grateful that you agreed to do this. In fact when I met you sa in our office when yeah. nagpa service kasi mong auto. Motom rag you weren't far from my mind like you were somewhere there on top of the list but was when I was planning who to invite as a guest pa. So I'm I'm very thankful that I'm you thankful as well that you went out of your time to make this opportunity happen, no? Yeah, yeah. So despite na na late pagit ko. <laughs> yeah, niya mo bike pa ka going back. Yeah, I, I bike <laughs> How many calories do you like? Not burn? a lot because I'm an e-bike. Ah, e-bike. Yeah. So going back and forth. How it, long did it take from Busay, from Hardin de Busay coming here? From Hardin de Busay to here, from Hardin de Busay to JY takes me about. 15 minutes. Uh, not, not so Sorry, bad. no. 12 minutes. Yeah. 12 minutes na ordinary pace. Mm. And then from JY to here, about 6 or 7 minutes. Ah, uh, okay. Not, not, not that bad. I thought mura ka ng dugay kay ba ka ng e bike man day. So, dili ra kayo as effort or as straining or sa. Yeah. Okay, so I think we covered a lot of ground today. Is there anything? This is your camera. <laughs> is there anything you would like to like address to people suffering out there or whatever? If they maybe regarding COVID, since okay. or whatever you might want to impart. Generally speaking, as um, to everyone out there experiencing the pandemic right now, your suffering is valid. What you're feeling is valid, but never never lose hope. Uh, there's always hope so long as you believe there's hope and there are times that we want to be alone but don't forget as well the people surrounding us and because surviving this pandemic is not to be done alone it is to be done with the help of friends families and relatives those who are close to us those that we love and always look for opportunities to be kind to one another because right now that's what we really really need in this world we need more kindness from Miss Universe <laughs> kind of statement, no? Yeah. Oh, thank you for that message. But yeah, in this time of kanang crisis, uh, warfare, and all this uncertainty, I think, yeah, we, we it's in, essential we go back to the things that matter and we don't take things for granted. We value the, the people in our inner circle, those close to us. We don't squander opportunities. And we come in solidarity to really help one another and we unite and we and hopefully we beat this thing and we come out stronger than ever before so, yeah, so uh, in the future kung mudagan ng president si Goho mo support ko I will vote for Goho for president <laughs> wow that's a that's a big statement but yeah thank you <laughs> Pero, so, yeah, anyway I think that wraps, wraps up this session today so yeah. thank you everyone uh, keep safe uh, I compiensa like we, let's uh, help each other and let's stay united as a community. Thank you. <laughs>